Now, a lot of the opening verses of Havamal are all about the ancient tradition of hospitality and what you should expect as a guest and what is expected of you as a host. But I also think as well, as it also needs to take into consideration or Odin advises that you should be careful because when you open yourself to being a guest, you're at the mercy of your host and you make yourself, or you can make yourself vulnerable if you are not cautious. I mean, the obvious modern day comparison I can make to the mistakes that can be made is to refer to the Red Wedding in Game of Thrones, which on, on my sort of social media today, sort of advertising verses one to seven, I've used the music from there because it strikes a chord and it's just one of those things that in going somewhere where you are expected by a politeness to be at the mercy of the laws of hospitality or the traditions of hospitality whatever you want to call it you will be making yourself vulnerable to social criticism or worse walking into the den of your enemies uh, and and uh, you know getting a crossbow bolt through the heart or your throat slit I mean, <laughs> that, that, that's an exaggeration certainly for real life terms in in our modern world um that's that's the cynical side of why you should observe be cautious before going into um somewhere where you are the guest to a host perhaps a host you don't know um because you don't know what you are letting yourself in for or the, who might be invited that you might not like or want to be associated with. Um, on the flip side as well, obviously, the, the expectancy is to be a good host, that you sort of have your guests at your mercy, if you like, but you are expected to treat them well, to treat them with the traditions of hospitality and make sure that they're not uncomfortable, that they're well fed, watered uh, and comfortable. Let's say if it's cold, fire. Um, if they're wet, then you give them a chance to dry off or dry their clothes or... or whatever is required because when you accept a guest into your home you want them to feel welcome and you treat them as you would want to be treated i know that's something we me and my wife in particular have always tried to do uh, with our home and i think we do a pretty good job of it it's one of those things that when i first or when we first started reading the hover mole it was there sort of staring in the face sort of like well a lot of these things are common sense or they're just polite um i certainly would never like anyone to feel uncomfortable in my home certainly not without good reason um and that we'd always try to be good hosts um, so that's not for everyone um, and I suppose a, a, another angle at looking at this as a tradesman I go into a lot of homes some that I don't necessarily always like going into and but I'd still have to be polite or I will try to be polite um I mean, there's there's like two sort of angles to the the traditions of hospitality when you're a tradesman. I mean, it's sort of it's almost like that sort of uh, unwritten law that 
you go to work in someone's house and expectancy isn't quite the right word but there's that sort of it's nice to be offered a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or a drink a beverage something to refresh yourself while you are working of course no one has to do that but it's nice to create a good positive dynamic between the host and the guest which in this case is say a tradesman coming to do work um, so it's just the opening stanzas and I'll probably make some more comments on the hover mail as we pro progress through it uh, again um, and I'm really like with sort of the other playlists keen to sort of see the comparisons in translations how they differ and what they suggest or say but anyway that's that for now and i will uh, see you in the next video thank you very much